As today, I'm laying here on the couch and keep thinking about my life, about my health, all the sickness that I've been dealing with in my entire life. I'm very sure that everybody has their own health problem. Everybody's sick at one point in time. But for me, it just uh, haven't been good. I've been dealing with a lot of health issues in my entire life. From one thing to the next thing, year after year, month after month. Uh, I've been seeing many doctors. I've been uh, taking many kinds of medications. Uh, do some exercise to help it out. But nothing seems to work. Um, someday I feel like I want to die. And someday I'm feeling quite all right. And there's not many days that I feel completely good. I always end up having some kind of health issues. So in this episode, I will be explaining and telling you about some of the health issues that I've been dealing with since I was a child. And uh, here we go. Without further ado, let's get the show started. As far as I remember, I was only five years old, and I have this respiratory uh, problems. Uh, back in Asia, we are very, very poor. We don't have doctors or anything like that. Um, we can't afford to go to hospital or anything. So the pain that I have on my chest is, has been bugging me for a year. I have a hard time breathing. The chest pain is just killing me. I can't breathe. It hurts so much. I can't sit and I can't stand. All I can do is just pretty much just lay down. Lay down on the ground. And I feel a little better that way. As a kid, as a five-year-old kid, I'm supposed to be running around and having fun jumping around, running around as a five-year-old kid, playing all day. But instead, I'm in pain, and all I do is just lay down and just cry most of the time. I can't control the pain anymore. It hurts so bad, and I can't breathe at the same time. Uh, we don't have family doctor or anything like that to take care of me. We are so poor. My parents can't afford to take me to the doctor. We live so far away from the doctor. It will literally take like 10 miles walk to get to the doctor and that's just a clinic. They don't even have a real doctor there. I remember at one time I was sick so bad. I, I have a headache so bad. It's about to explode. We don't have Tylenol or anything like that. Uh, imagine that a five-year-old kid just lay there on the ground with a chest pain and headache and can't breathe. And all I can do is just cry. I cry so much that I don't even have tears anymore. What's coming out is just dry tears. The pain just doesn't go away. The pain is getting sharper each day. Uh, it bugs me so much I can't sleep at night. Uh, to the point where sometimes I just pass out and I don't remember what happened anymore. Um, luckily, luckily every morning I was still able to wake up. And every morning when I woke up, I opened my eyes. I was wondering, am I dead yet? Or am I just uh, being uh, captured somewhere in a world? Um, Luckily, good thing in the morning when I woke up, my pain wasn't there. Throughout the day, the pain just gradually come in. And the best thing about the morning is that I was able to wake up. That way I know that I'm not dead. And when I woke up, the first couple hours, I don't have the pain. The pain slowly coming in throughout the times. So it is terrible. I have a miserable life when I was a kid, five years old. Um, other kids were happy, singing, running around, and having fun with other kids, playing together, 
And all I do is just lay there and trying to bear with my pain. It's just not right. It's not fair for a five-year-old kid to be in that kind of pain. I don't think that I'm going to make it. I think that I'm going to die sooner or later. And eventually, I was sick so bad that I passed out for the whole entire 24 hours. There's one person that I will never forget, which is my mom. She always there for me. I was sick so bad that she took care of me every single day, every single night. At one time, I was sick so bad, I couldn't move and I passed out. Uh, it's been over 24 hours, I haven't woke up. My mom never gave up on me, so she's still thinking that I'm alive. I don't know if I'm alive or not. All I know is that I'm gone and I'm happy because I don't feel the pain anymore. I'm free, I'm feeling good. I don't have to deal with the pain. But deep down in my heart, my mom is the one that loved me the most. She took care of me. Not just that, she also has to take care of my older brother. So she believes that I'm not dead yet. In the middle of the night, she was carrying me going up on the mountains about four miles to get to the small clinics. In the middle of the night, it was cold, it was windy, it was raining. She's dragging me going up on the mountains over four miles just to get to the clinic because she believes that I'm not dead yet. She have hope. She believed in me that I'm not dead yet. By the time that she arrived at the hospital, it's probably around one or two o'clock in the morning. She kept knocking at the door at the clinic. No one's open because it's at night. No one's there. No one's to open. Finally, comes to about five o'clock in the morning. There's a doctor that came in early that day. Um, he's not really a doctor. He's more like assistant, but we call him a doctor anyway. So he felt so sorry for my mom. He opened the door and spending some time to examine me and look at over everything. He told my mom that, I'm sorry, your son, he died. And there's nothing that he can do. He tried his best. He's saying that my mom basically brought a dead child to the clinic. It was too late. There's nothing he can do. All he can do is just feel so sorry for my mom. But my mom never gave up on me. My mom's my hero. She stared up with me the whole entire time. She never gave up. She has so much hope on me. She knows that I'm not dead yet. She stays there with me the whole entire time. As time goes by, my mom, she's so sleepy and so tired. Um, she just passed out at the hospital. She doesn't get any sleep. She can't eat. But she never gave up the hope. She knows that I can make it. She believes in me. And I know that I can't go. I love my mom so much. I have to come back. I have to come back. So the miracle has happened. Finally, I woke up. I woke up, I saw my mom was right there. That's how I know I didn't die yet. I'm so happy I get to see my mom again. I'm alive. I live. Hooray. My pain go away. I live. I'm so happy to see my mom. And the doctor, he was surprised to see me, but came back from dead. He said it's a miracle. He never seen anything like it. I'm so happy, I'm so glad that I'm not dead. I'm back and see my mom for one last time. From that point on, I am so young, but I have this memory inside of my head. I will never forget this day. How my mom took care of me how much she loved me. She have hopes and she never gave up on me. I'm so glad and so happy to have my mom on my side the whole entire time. As life goes on, I feel a lot better. As years goes by, I feel a lot better. 
I can see that my mom, she's also happy for me that I came back and alive. I just want to live my life happy and show to my mom that the hopes that she has for me will never die. I'm so happy that I'm not dead and I have a chance to see this world more and more each day goes by. My mom is my hero. She will always be my hero, no matter what. I love her with all my heart. Everything that I do, every time I breathe, I realize my mom is my number one person in this world. I want to dedicate this uh, special speech that I'm doing today to my mom. Mom, I just want to let you know that you are the greatest person in my life. And I love you so much. No matter what's going on around the world, no matter what happened to the world, you are my mom forever and ever. And this is all I have for today. It is not quite an uh, astounding uh, podcast like the rest of the other ones, but it is something so deep inside my heart that I want to speak it out. I want to put it on this podcast to the rest of the people out there that you are sick of some kind of illness. And I just want to let you know that you are not alone. You will be uh, cured. Stay strong. Be positive. And never give up. The hope is always there. You deserve to live your life. This is my message to you. You are the greatest person. You exist for some reason. And you deserve to live your life, your whole entire life. This world is so beautiful. There's so much to see. There's so much to know. And there's so much to learn. And there's so much to understand. So you have the right to live your life just like everyone else. And experience the best of this world has to offer. So this is all what I have for today. And just remember, never give up. And thank you so much. Until next time, take care everybody. I love you all.